Hello everyone, welcome back to another exciting Fortnite video and thanks for tuning in. So in this video, of course, I'm just going to be focusing on one game and that one game, of course, is going to be good old Fortnite. Now, I'm going to focus more on the graphics card than I will the CPU in this one, just mainly because Fortnite is a very intense GPU game. And, of course, Fortnite's the best game to test out the GeForce RTX 3080. So, I'm definitely excited about this one. I'm going to be playing through four different settings, four different resolutions. And I'm definitely curious to see, well, just what settings, what resolutions can I play Fortnite? Especially given that Fortnite, you know, is now running on the Unreal Engine 5.1. So, I'm definitely excited. So before we jump into the video segments, of course, remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Remember to check out all my links and descriptions down below. You know, visit my Etsy store, go to my PayPal link, you know, definitely could use all the support I can get. But as always, at the end of the day, I'm just always thankful for every viewer I get. So without much further delay, let's go ahead and get to those videos. What up everyone, so in this one I'm playing good old Fortnite, I'll be using the NVIDIA RTX 3080 paired up with the Intel i7-9700K. So let's go ahead and take a look at the graphics settings, see what I'm playing with here. Playing at full screen, 2160p, 4K resolution, and playing on Custom settings, I mean it's essentially epic settings but without nanite or lumen. That's the reason why it says custom is because of course when you go to epic settings it wants to turn everything on. But we definitely want to turn all that off because of course lumen and nanite put a lot of demand on a GPU. So this is the settings I am playing with here. You know nothing too fancy. So. That's what it looks like, so let's go ahead and ready up. And as always, let's just see how many frames per second I can get using this hardware combination. Hi there everyone, so in this playthrough of Fortnite, I'm using the same hardware, the i7-9700K with the NVIDIA RTX 3080, except I'm playing it at different settings, so let's go ahead and take a look at those settings, see what I'm playing with here. Been at full screen, 1800p, which is near 2160p, 4K resolution. Now, when it comes to NVIDIA graphics cards, you have to set a custom resolution. It's the only way you can get 1800p. Now, as far as the settings I'm playing at here, nothing too special, really. I'm just playing at the high quality presets. So we'll take a look at what high quality gets set to. Of course, I have uh, ray tracing on, but that's uh, what I'm playing with here, so. Not too bad. So. Alright, with that out of the way. Alright, let's go ahead and just uh, ready up. And let's just see how many frames per second I can get using this hardware combination at these settings.
What up everyone? So in this playthrough of Fortnite, I'm using the same hardware, the RTX 3080 with the i7 9700K. Let's take a look at the graphics settings, see what I'm set to here. Playing at full screen, 1440p, 2K resolution, and playing on, uh, the reason why it says custom, I mean it's mostly high setting, but I'll show you here why it uh, it says that. So, so basically what I did is I went to high, and the only thing I changed was just the uh, post-processing and the view distance. Because when you put those to the highest they can go, it definitely makes the game look a lot better. But uh, it's the reason why it says custom. So, for the most part, it is just high settings. So, alright, with that out of the way, go ahead and ready up. And let's just see how many frames per second we can get using this hardware combination on these settings. What up everyone? So in this fourth and final playthrough of Fortnite, I'll be using the same hardware, i7-9700K with the NVIDIA RTX 3080. So let's take a look at the graphics settings, see what I'm playing with. So playing at 1440p, windowed full screen, and the settings I'm playing on are pretty much medium. I know it says custom, but I'll show you in a second here why it says custom. So, the reason why is because when you put it to medium, it sets everything to medium. But I'm setting view distance to epic, because of course, you want to be able to see your enemies better so you can kill them. So, that's the reason why it says custom. But other than that, I mean, it's pretty much just medium settings, you know, nothing, nothing too crazy there. So, alright. That out of the way, let's go ahead and ready up. And as always, let's just see how many frames per second I can get playing at these settings and resolution. Thank you. 